As pilots, we need to understand our aircraft's capabilities and limitations, all of which can be found in the Aircraft's Pilot Operating Handbook, or POH for short. When planning a flight, we should always consider if we will remain within our aircraft's weight and centre of gravity limits, as well as if the runway is of sufficient length to allow us to safely take off and land. In this video, we will look at what performance and weight and balance is, what factors affect them, and how they are calculated using the Pilot Operating Handbook on a variety of different aircraft types. Aircraft performance is concerned with an aircraft's ability to take off and land on a runway in a known distance, which is calculated from our performance charts. Civil Aviation Order, or CAO for short, 20.7.4, outlines the performance and weight requirements for aeroplanes not above 5,700 kilos. This includes takeoff and landing distance, takeoff climb, en route climb, and landing climb. Before we calculate our performance, we need to understand a few terms. Takeoff run available, or TORA for short, is the ground run available for an aircraft to take off. At most airports, it is the physical length of the runway. Takeoff distance available, or TODA for short, is the distance available before the aircraft must be at least 50 foot over an obstacle. For a runway with no clearway, this means that the takeoff distance available is the same as the takeoff run available. At some larger airports, there is a clearway at the end of the runway, which is essentially a safe space for an aircraft to climb to 50 foot and clear any obstacles. While most airports have a clear area at the end of the runway, it is not legally a clear way unless defined in the runway distance supplement at the back of the URSA. When calculating the takeoff run required and takeoff distance required, it is simpler and safer to assume that there is no clear way available. If after calculating you find you need a longer takeoff distance, you could then check the URSA runway distance supplement to see if a clear way is available. The landing distance available, or LDA, is normally the same as the takeoff run available, that is, the physical length of the runway. Some airports have a displace threshold, meaning that much less of the runway is available for landing, shortening the landing distance available. If your destination airport has a displace threshold, its details will be noted in the URSA. There are many factors that affect the performance of our aircraft, such as temperature, pressure, runway surface, runway slope, wind and aircraft weight. The higher the ambient temperature, the less dense the air is, meaning that the engine, propeller and wings all perform worse, requiring a longer takeoff and landing distance. The same goes for ambient pressure, where a lower pressure will result in less dense air and a worse performance, thus requiring a longer runway. The surface of the runway greatly impacts the friction of the aircraft wheels on the ground, with long grass being the worst alternative to a dry paved runway. On grass, the increased rolling resistance hinders takeoff performance, while the reduced grip also reduces braking capabilities, worsening landing performance. The slope of the runway is more interesting, where a downhill runway will increase takeoff performance, but at the same time will drastically reduce landing performance, and vice versa. Obviously, it is easier to start or stop an aircraft while using gravity to your advantage. Sometimes, a shorter takeoff or landing distance can be achieved by operating with a light tailwind, but using the slope to your advantage. It is up to you to calculate both options. Wind is rather self-explanatory. When operating with a headwind, it will shorten your takeoff and landing distance required. Finally, the weight of the aircraft. The heavier our aircraft, the more inertia it will have, meaning it will take a longer distance to take off. For light aircraft, the effect of weight is often ignored for landing as the additional weight allows for more traction and better braking, cancelling out the greater inertia. Our actual takeoff distance required is calculated using your aircraft's POH, which accounts for all of the factors previously mentioned, and then adding 15% if your aircraft is less than 2,000 kilos. This extra 15% is a legal requirement from CASA as per CAO 20.7.4. This means that if your calculated takeoff distance required from the POH is 1000 meters, 
your factored takeoff distance required would now be 1,150 metres, meaning you cannot legally take off from a runway unless it is 1,150 metres or longer, ignoring any clear ways. If after calculating your takeoff distance required and discovering it is longer than the takeoff distance available, you have some options available to you. You can reduce the payload, whether that be passengers, cargo or fuel, use another runway, investigate if the chosen runway has a clear way, or as a last resort, return on a different day with more favourable temperature, pressure and wind.